Jumbo. So today we're going to talk about the different reasons why African diaspora we might decide to build houses back home. And I'll use myself as an example to give some of these reasons. Actually, last time after I had finished to shoot my previous videos, my daughters came to me and they asked me two questions. They asked me why I decided to build the house in the first place. They also asked me why of all the places in Africa I chose to build in Goma. Today, I'm going to address the first question. Why did I decide to build the house in the first place? First of all, I've always liked the idea of owning a house and I like this idea so much so I'm ready to own a house anywhere in the world. So for me, it just makes sense. If I'm ready to own a house anywhere, I want to own a house in my own country, a country I love very, very much. Saying that, I wouldn't mind owning a house anywhere in Africa because you know for me the whole of Africa is home so it doesn't matter if I have a house in Congo or in another African country the whole of Africa is home the whole of Africa is beautiful the whole of Africa has potential everywhere in Africa there are opportunities other reasons why I decided to build the house in the first place I traveled to Goma, to Congo and I've come to the conclusion that whenever I go there, I will be more comfortable staying in my own place. I also will have more flexibility in terms of doing things. Actually, I've got a similar reason to this one. I plan to go back home to Africa one day, hopefully very, very soon. And when time to do this comes, I'd like to go back and go back to my own house. When I was growing up, I used to hear people around me, particularly grown-ups, say that it is wise for someone to own their own house. They made this conclusion based on life experiences. Actually, as myself, I'm growing older, I have come to the same conclusion. I think it is a smart move for someone to want to own their own house. Before I used to look at the house as just an accommodation, a place you live in, a place you can rent out and make some money. But since sometimes now, I've started looking at a house as also an asset you can sell and raise funds for one or another project, or simply an asset you can pass on to your children or your children's children. So for me personally, these are some of the reasons why I decided to build the house in the first place. As I'm building, I have come to learn other things, uh, which are not necessary reasons why someone would want to build the house in the first place, because there are things uh, you learn as you're building. So building my house has made me become more focused, more disciplined and more committed to the extent that I have become more productive. It will be nice to hear other reasons why African diaspora we might want to build house back home in one or another of our African countries. So please leave in the comments the reasons why you might want to build a house or the reason why you decided to build a house. I'll quickly remind you that you can check out my playlist. I'm collecting videos made by others on Goma. So for more information about Goma and the whole of the Kivu region, you can check out those videos in my playlist. Until next time, Kwaheri, au revoir.